Lightroom's dead. So I want to start first off and foremost. Sorry for the noise. Yeah. Also, sorry for this giant mic in the way. I got to figure out a place to put it so it's not in frame. But you know, testing out my new, my new mic. So I'm pretty excited about that. Why do I say Lightroom's dead? Well, so during quarantine time, a couple guys, but honorable mention here, Peter McKinnon. Lightroom had the best tool for these quick little finishing touches. I'll show that clip over here. Or how do I make this photo a little more special? How do I take it from this raw to this finished photo? The radio mask tool is, is pretty cool. And with that video, I was inspired to actually jump into Lightroom again, which I honestly have never liked. Photoshop is my jam. So with the new update that just happened with Photoshop with the Creative Cloud version, they added the radio mask tool to your raw filter. So I recommend going in, checking it out, using it. They have the linear mask tool as well. And basically all the same tools that you would typically have for exposure, shadows, highlights, uh, certain colors, warmer, cooler, so on and so forth. Um, that's how I kind of felt about Lightroom before. I felt like it was the same thing as the raw filter tool. And I just didn't see anything particularly cool about it until I saw that video about the radio mask. And um, then I started using it a little bit more. And about a month later, Photoshop came out with the update and now, Photoshop has the exact same stuff. So I really, really, really don't see a reason for it. The reason why I like this tool is uh, particularly being able to add more details and exposure to highlights, uh, contrast, etc., to just particular spots in your photograph that you take. I also like messing around with the lighting effects as well. I use it a lot. Um, I love using the lighting effects in Photoshop for photos because sometimes you're just, you're missing a light that may be necessary when you're actually shooting. And um, you know, that's slack on my end, but I'll show you some little tips and tricks, things that I do in this little clip, just showing you some kind of cool things you can do with the radio mask and linear mask, being able to add just details to certain areas in your photo, being able to heighten the exposure or bring it down, your highlights, your shadows, etc. Uh, I think it's pretty cool and you can sharpen up parts of the images that maybe you just want to bring a little more focus to visually for the eyes. And I think that this is a pretty cool tool and I'm happy now that it's just integrated into Photoshop. It's awesome. Some things that I did before I tried using the tool when it was in Lightroom was that I would basically just layer things. So I take my basic layer, I'd edit that and then I would take copy that layer. I would take it maybe increase the sharpness and the clarity in one certain spot and then layer that on and erase the rest of it and just kind of feather it into it myself with the eraser tool. This is definitely a productivity tool and it has been a game changer. I think it's going to be awesome for a lot of the stuff that I do and I'm pretty stoked for it. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I hope you guys found it useful, something you guys can uh, play around with. And as always, stay creative. How do you do these outros? Everyone's got such a great outro. I'm utilizing the trick from uh, Peter McKinnon as well about using google.com as a uh, key light. Ah, oh, dude, where's that light at? Yeah, the Daniel Schiffer light. I'll go get it. I'll go get it. Yeah. Ha. Huh. Sweet, right? The hell is it? Uh, it's it's a ring light that I made after watching uh, Daniel Schiffer's basically uh, budget friendly ring light thing. Uh, can you guys think of anything to use these for? These are the heat sinks off the dual CPUs of a of a PS3 that I took apart. Yeah. Yo yo, Josh Yao. Took your idea about the mobile charging case as well. Appreciate that. Check this out. 
Oh yeah. Ooh. Damn it. Anybody need a remote? I forgot to include the remote with the package that I sent off. So, um, you know, if anybody needs a remote, I got a remote. I don't need it. I'm not gonna use it. Peace.